Hi, I'm Allison, a pharmacist, and today I'd like to go over how to use your naloxone product. It can be really difficult in an emergency situation to remember everything that you may have learned about naloxone. So feel free to come back to this video from time to time to review the information here so that you can always be prepared in the event that you witness an opioid overdose. So you've called 911 and grabbed your naloxone. Now what? Injectable naloxone comes in a one milliliter single dose vial, similar to this one, and it can be given intramuscularly in the patient's deltoid on their upper arm, their quadricep on the outer aspect of their thigh, or their gluteal muscle on the upper portion of their backside. To prepare a dose, we'll first remove the plastic cap from the vial and grab your needle and syringe. Now, since we're injecting this medication, we wanna try and keep the rubber cap and the tip of the needle clean, so avoid touching those as you prepare your dose. Remove the cap from your needle and insert it into the rubber stopper. Now you'll withdraw the full contents of the vial. There should be at least one milliliter of fluid and maybe slightly more due to overfill, but withdraw the full contents. Now we'll get rid of any bubbles by sharply tapping the syringe and removing any air so that we're left with one milliliter of liquid. Now your dose is ready for administration. Today I'll demonstrate how to give a dose of injectable naloxone in a patient's deltoid muscle. When giving an intramuscular injection, you'll first remove the patient's clothing to expose the skin. Feel for the bony edge of the patient's shoulder Place two fingers beneath that, and the triangular area here is the deltoid muscle, and that's where you'll be giving the injection. If available, clean the area with an alcohol swab. Then, pinch the muscle to form a firm surface. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle and inject the dose of medication. Remove the needle and dispose of it properly. Do not recap your needle. Now that the dose has been given, the patient should start to respond within three to five minutes. However, if they're not responding, it is safe to give a second dose of naloxone in an alternate injection site if you have another dose available. For more specific questions on how to locate an intramuscular injection site or how to choose the correct size needle, feel free to check in with your pharmacist or doctor. And that's how you give a dose of injectable naloxone.